Well, it's uh, here we are with uh, Angel Carrillo, that's uh, one of the inspirations that we have within the arts community. And I had the pleasure of meeting uh, Angel a few months back, and uh, it was when uh, we were trying to create roles within the arts community, and that was uh, great that uh, he came forward. And, and here we are, it is uh, during the day, working on something that's uh, beautiful, that's enhancing our communities, and this is something that um, it's uh, revitalizing this area. But we are doing it, and he knows, is with permission from the property owners. We went there, we yeah. talked to them, we asked them, and now from what it constituted, mm -hmm. and you can validate what I'm saying, in terms of being vandalism to what you have. This is art. Mm -hmm. And uh, so how do you feel uh, as an angel being in this community, like before it was extremely difficult, perhaps during the day, yeah. to be doing something so valuable for a neighborhood like this? No, I think it's great. I think it's. Uh I think we've always been able to uh, showcase what we're good at, and that the community has always been, you know, sweet enough to uh, allow us to showcase what we our work and stuff. And I think uh, it's good. It's good for communities to build that. And it's because I mean, with time changing, kids want art. They want art that represents them. And uh, people seem to forget. Although you pay your taxes, the kids are the ones tagging. So if you don't have what, if you don't give the kids what they want, they're also a part of communities. So you. You know, we kind of give that back to them, and they relate to us, and they they, they like what we do, and and it's a time and uh, a special place for them because they're growing, and obviously with technology and all this stuff, modernism kicks in, and then something new might be created in a few years. Maybe it'd be more crazier than what it is now, more, more colorful. I don't know. How do you feel about the graffiti management plan that was approved by City Council, where the um, art mm -hmm. is? Um, is a part of, uh, of the graffiti management plan where the arts community right. is a part of it in terms of uh, getting uh, things done, cleaning up our neighborhoods and <coughs> cleaning up our city and also creating art that uh, promotes local artists and that kind of thing. I think it's good. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's a good start. I think that it's good that uh, they're reaching out to local graffiti artists and they have a panel of artists that uh, want to contribute and help. Uh, but I think, in all honesty, like, I think that they, it, they need a graffiti artists to be there to network with the other artists. I mean, I don't believe I know any, you know, abstract artists names by off my top of my head, but I can name you every single graffiti writer that the city holds. Right, so I mean, it, it's one of those things. I think that if once we start bridging that and start working together, and you know, it, it's you have a panel of artists that want to help out, but you need graffiti artists in there as well. You play a main role during the graffiti <laughs> management um, discussions that we had a year ago. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's uh, this that created a good balance approach in terms of working with the arts community, working with local communities to beautify and uh, our communities, and at the same time to clean up? what constitutes uh, vandalism? Of course, uh, I just think that uh, it, it, it just allows a, uh, some form of trust, right? I mean, the, the city has to be able to trust the, the street artists, the graffiti artists, and the graffiti artists have to trust the, the city. And they need somebody to go on the front lines and say, okay, well, if, they, if he says it's okay, I guess it's fine. And so far I've been lucky and very lucky and fortunate that uh, I've been able to gather some really good talent that we have here in, in our own communities and to come out and do, the, do what they do best. And uh, that's a big bonus, that's a big step. You know, so for sure. Well, I'm very glad that, that uh, we are part of the action. Yes. Thank you so much for being part of the action. Oh, thank you. And for being an inspiration to this community as well. Always good to see you. Thank you.